This is the second night of Cuban uh, Cinemas of the Diaspora in Kingston, a project called Roots and Roots. I'm very satisfied that the, for the first time I'm curating a visual arts exhibition. My name is Zaira Sarsa and I am a fourth year PhD student at Queen's University in the graduate program uh, Cultural Studies. And my name is Freddy uh, Monasterio and I'm also a Cultural Studies um, PhD student from Cuba. Please join me in welcoming Heidi Hassan. She is the one I blame for my whole PhD project because I saw her film Redland that is screening tonight and I said, okay, that's that. I am that person, I am that character. My research in the last three and a half years has been on post-2000 Cuban cinemas of the diaspora. Young filmmakers who have lived off the island and who have made films abroad. I started doing a, a radio show in the radio station uh, called Radio Malecon. That was a very fast and amazing way to connect with, uh, like to bring a piece of Cuba to Kingston. Initially, it was very Cuban. I mean, I was basically playing, tr trying to share with Kingston community the giant uh, collection of Cuban music I had and trying to share this treasure uh, in the community. And then I kind of uh, opened that a little bit more when I started realizing that there were many, or not, not a lot, but a few uh, Latinos in, in Kingston. I felt in the like the duty to mm -hmm. uh, open that to Latin American music in general. So then I started working more on bringing uh, people to station to my show to talk about their you know their works or their uh, music taste or maybe some music they they would like to share. One of the things that has helped me the most since I got here is for sure the Kingston Latino Association. Uh, right now I'm, I'm a member of the executive board, but I have been a part of it since, since my arrival. The Latino community in Kingston has grown exponentially in the last five years. It's very nice to be able to speak Spanish and to you know, talk about the, recent, the richness of our different cultures. We all have, you know, particular foods that we like to uh, eat from from each other's countries, and we there's this sense of uh, love for music and for dancing that we all uh, experience. Right? Being a part of the collective uh, DJs collective Soul Shakedown, uh, I've been working with them for like a year maybe, and I've been actually the, be, uh, been very active. Uh, DJing, like I've DJ for the last five or six parties, and I always, I mean, my sets are pure Latin American music, mm -hmm. and there's a, obviously a lot of Cuban music there too. So I guess that's another way to communicate uh, Cuba to Kingston. Con no Latinos, y como siempre estamos DFM, que soy yo, Freddy. I definitely would love to come back to Cuba and definitely it will help if, if things there change a little bit and I miss obviously my family, group of friends yeah. in, in Havana that we miss a lot, being in, in, in your city, like in your country where you can, you know, like you know and most of the things are going on mm. in, in society. Uh, after three years I, sometimes I feel a little bit lost. It's hard to have fun and be in a situation where you can uh, enjoy maybe the same quality of life as here, obviously. Mm -hmm. And that's important, I think. But uh, I'm definitely gonna be in touch with Cuba a lot. Mm -hmm.